Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, a quick look at the opposition and results really have not been good for them at all just recently. They haven't won at all in the last three. Testing times lie ahead, Peter. The problem is that it's hard to draw on any positive at the moment, even though they'll claim that they're not quite getting the breaks just now. Lady Luke has seemingly turned her back on them and, and shunned their calls for help. If they have more to them than we've been seeing, then it has to emerge here. They understand the consequences if that does not happen. And already we're under... Has a hit! It's broken loose! Knocks it away. Has a goal! Oh, he has stuck it into his own net! Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. Fortuitous as it may have been, they all count one. Well, you can't ask for much better than that, Peter. Bang, bang, two in double quick time. Battles to win it back. Just ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Take by the keeper, he's read that well. Barnsley were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Pumps it into the area. Tries to get it clear. Well, the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Receives it from behind. Can he deliver? He's there to receive it. Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. He's got a chance from here, but not the kindest angle. Side. Yeah, the assistant did have his flag up. The referee seemed to spot it late, though. Nevertheless, the right decision. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Plays it out to the wing. Goes for a sweeping cross. Good challenge. Excellent challenge.
Out to the left it goes. Beautifully done. Hits one! He's got away with one there. Well, one sloppy lapse like that can do a lot of damage, and it was triggered by the closing down. Barnsley have come to the defence of their manager after he came in for some stick regarding some of his decision-making. Listen, there's just no hiding place, uh, and it was refreshing to hear him admit to getting it wrong. He miscalculated, human error, we move on. Well, they held on to it for far too long there, and they've allowed the defence the chance to close them down. Oh, good steal, he just read it. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. Real chance! And another time! And yes, it's there! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. So that's two now without reply. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Oh, shooting chance! Lovely idea, just didn't get it right. Well, it could have been and probably should have been a, a different choice of finish. There was lower space to hit. Forward it goes. Knocks it away. A corner it is then. Cleared away. He's got options out wide. Offside, yes, it is. Keeper sends it forward. to get it forward quickly. Long ball, but not especially accurate. And they're not going to make any further progress now. And it's got through. And they win it back again. And it's played forward. We hit half-time. Well, it's hard to say whether a two-goal advantage under these circumstances is decisive or not, but so far, I haven't really seen enough to indicate that the opposition can come out in the second half and improve to that degree. It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals, and two between them at half-time. The action has already resumed here. That's not going to make it. Gets into a dangerous position. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? 
Now a chance to break. And that's been levered clear. Well weighted. The message is clear, none shall pass. Back to the keeper and try something new. Walk forward, what does he try from here? It's being played forward. Looking ball. Goalkeeper's ball. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. So a chance to deliver a ball into the box. So who's he going to be aiming for here? Has a pop! They are rampant! And they are cruising away! Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Gileson. Gileson switches it towards the other side. Right through the middle. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. And helps available out wide. Oh, that's nice. It is a corner. Great leap! Oh, top draw save from the keeper. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. to locate someone up front.
Come back to the keeper. Keeper's got good distance on that. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. And the flag has stayed down. Defending of the desperate variety. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. So 3-0 now, and surely there'll be no twists in the plot. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Barnsley making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his effort. Massive leap! And it's hoisted clear. Hoists it forward. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Gets wrestled off the ball. Sports official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. It is quite a run he's made. Going for goal! Oh, that's fabulous! A finish right from the top draw! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. It's become a case of men against boys. Well, well played, he saw that coming. And there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen rarely get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. The action has already started. Dinks one in. Locks it away. He's in! That's a hit! No, oh, poor contact, nothing on the shot. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? And the finish! Oh, the ball's come loose! It's gone a long way up and away. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. It'll be a throw in. That's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. He's darted infield. Middlesbrough have been in fine form in front of goal. They've not failed to score in any of their last five games. Right on the edge of the box, it could go either way here. Uh, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Well, he can get masterful control on free kicks, and his focus is usually second to none. Yes, certainly. He's had a crack! He's produced a beauty. <laughs> big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, look, this is just what the fans wanted. And now that they're celebrating the opener, I think they'll want to see their team make all the running from here. Diogo Dallo has finally made his comeback from injury. Middlesbrough have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Well, there is no evidence right now of the recent frailties that have affected the team around about this time in the game. It's been much talked about. Many here hoping that things will remain stable as they are now. Cuts it out. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Looks to dink one in. Tries to get it clear.
Gorgeous control there. Into the box. It's there to get rid. Away from immediate danger. Danger averted for now. Middlesbrough are having a tough week. It is a crazy schedule for them. Yeah, it's a tough spell, and guarding against fatigue for the players is key now. Tiredness can be the blame for more injuries, so it's an opportunity for the manager to shuffle his pack. Oh, sweet feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Diogo Dallo. Goes for the cross. And he's there to clear it. And a play for a throw. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get the passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. And now the breakaway. He gets past his man. Just the keeper to beat. Forward it goes. Caramo. Oh, he's made sure that that won't get through. McNair plays it forward. And it reached half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But it still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Leading 1 0 at the break. And we're already back on the way here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free flow in football. Middlesbrough coming into this game on the back of a really good result, and their boss must take an awful lot of credit for that. Well, Peter, he was lauded by the media, and quite rightly too. I think what he did was clever and decisive, and it just goes to show how tactically as studious oh, well intercepted really alert to the danger decent progress down the left hoists it forward and here's the chance to counter. But there. Good ball. Gets on the end. Hits one! defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then so when they did they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well worked finish too he's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more Middlesbrough are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a few moments now. Things starting to look very comfortable. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. And it's McNair. Looking to hit the front line. Here comes the corner. challenge 
finish, but fair enough. It's gone out for a throw in. Brings out once more. But now. And it's played forward. And that's sprayed out wide. Now the cross. Corner then. The changes then in quick succession. Put forward. What does he try from here? That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Great run on the overlap here. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Great leap! The referee's awarded a free kick. And once more, they can't get through. He's tried one. Saved. That's good keeping. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Time for a change in personnel. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. And out to safety. Plays it out to the wing. There are a few waiting for it. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Done very well to intervene. A forward pass. Defending of the desperate variety. Oh, good interception. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning.
Gets Russell off the ball. Well, that's pretty clear. It is a foul. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. So, another set play. Looking to widen the gap even further here. Close. Battles to win it back. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, good ball. He's had a go! the chance oh flags up so that won't count yeah the referee hadn't spotted his assistance raised flag he has now so he's ruled the goal out for offside a moment's uncertainty there but it is the right call Much subtlety, he's launched himself there. And now they can launch a counter. Forward it goes. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Now a chance to break. Nicely measured pass. One. But there gets it back. Plays it out to the flank. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. McNair. And the defence can get it clear. And that's that. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Yeah, and the result that was true to form. The big team beating out.
Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle well this really is a great venue it adds so much character to every game it stages and just joining us we are already on the way tries to get it forward quickly Come loose. Deftly done. Southampton have it back and they can go again. And the ball's come out. And he's going long. And he just whacks it away. Caramo. And back to base. Forward it goes. Southampton seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. He's left his man. Ings! Hoists it forward. Caramo, Bertrand gets his foot in there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Gileson plays it forward. And it's got through. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Redmond. And it's played forward. Lamina, nicely measured pass. Oh, is it a chance? Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. That was created because of good lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. Gileson goes looking. Either side yet able to find the net. Forward it goes. Timely intervention. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Uh, that was just poor decision. Shoots! And how good was that? A finish right from the top draw. Could that be the start of something big? Smartly deceptive, what quality. Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. Southampton have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand, and uh, just listen. Great strength on the ball. Oh, great! Redmond! They've scored! And they're at it again in double quick time. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. 
However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. So that's two now without reply. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. A real chance to break. Out to the right. He's got away. Played into space out wide. Knocks it away. Goes for a sweeping cross. Approaching half time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? It's a loose ball. Has it out wide now? Deflected behind for a corner kick. the worry or two a more than decent attempt Peter and he just whacks it away And it's Bertrand. Cross from Redmond. Big chance! Ooh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. See so your views on the first half. Look, Peter, this isn't good. Their body language is not encouraging, and the manager must have a, a major verbal impact, or else. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. Southampton, whose last result owes so much to the astuteness of their manager. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top, and he tweaked the system to sort it out. Shapes to shoot! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Quickly. He's got options out wide. Redmond. Hoists it forward. Bertrand. Kenny drives it towards the front and the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach and it may just freshen things up. We sit high. Keeper's ball. Lamina. Bednarek. Goes direct to the front line. He's made sure that that won't get through. Diogo Dallo. Diogo Dallo with the crossfield ball.
interference and very necessary. And it's been taken straight back. to get it clear. Time for a change in personnel. Over to the left. Gets it back. Plays it long. to locate someone up front. No, no way through there. Looking to hit the front line. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Cuts it out. Forward it goes. Chance to break. Looks to clip it forward. Knocks it away. Tried to play it through. Ah, oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Diogo Dallo tries to stroke it through. And that's been one straight back. Ings, who does have an assist to his name. And he's there to hoof it away. And play for a throw. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but... You couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. That's a look and place it in. Ings. Bertrand. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And you can analyse to your heart's content. It won't change the outcome. They have lost the game. The end of the game. Reflections. Well, look, Peter, no matter what the circumstances, in my career there was always a call for ending the season on a winning note, go out on a high, and then obviously a more forensic reflection could begin on, on what needs to be altered during the close season. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.